I bought these pair of earrings from my vendor for six hundred rupees, and I will sell it for thousand um, rupees. I bought this from my vendor for thousand rupees. I will sell this to my customers for thirteen hundred rupees. I made this bag, and it costed me five hundred rupees. Mm, I will sell this for six hundred and fifty rupees. Is this how you price your own fashion products? Hi, this is Harvi Shah, fashion business coach, and I teach women how to build their profitable fashion brands. If you are somebody who aspires to start or scale your profitable fashion brand, then subscribe to this channel and hit on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I put up a learning video with business strategies to start your fashion brand. Majority of the people who price their fashion products, they have this method to price their fashion products, and they do a gut-based pricing. They look at the price at which they bought the product from their vendor, and they just add a few hundreds of rupees, thinking that I will make profit on top of what I paid to my vendor. And this is where majority of us we do not make money in running our own fashion brands. In this video, I'm going to teach you a pricing strategy to ensure that you stay profitable in your fashion brand. You don't have to do a gut-based pricing or a heart-based pricing. Most of us we feel guilty in charging more money from our uh, from our customers for the fashion products that we are selling. So let's look at what are the four key things that you need to take care of in order to ensure that the products that you are selling is actually making you money. The number one thing that you have to ensure is that all the variable costs of the products they are being considered when you are pricing your products. What I mean by variable cost? The cost of the product itself, then the cost of packaging, the cost of some cards that you are putting it, the cost of the box, the cost of the printing labels, the cost of the shipping that you are going to do from your house to your customer's house. All the variable costs which are incurred for you to ship that product from your house to the customer's house should be a part of your pricing strategy so that's number 1 all the variable costs should be very well definitely you have to consider when you are pricing your products number 2 is you have to consider a part of the fixed cost that you are going to recover from the customer what i mean by that is you might have invested in say a laptop or you might have taken an a warehouse and you're paying rent for that or you might have bought a printer or you might have bought like a storage container in order to put your fashion products in that all the uh, items that you buy in order to run your business you need to ensure that you are taking a margin of that fixed cost that you have incurred from your customers so that over the period of time you are recovering your fixed cost that's number 2 take into consideration a part of the fixed cost to be recovered from every product that you're selling to your customers number 3 you have to th think about how much profit margin you want to keep when you are selling the products to your customers most of us we settle down with the leftover amount after all the costs are taken out and we say this is what i made we don't go out and say this is what how i want to make by selling these products so what i would recommend is think of that profit margin what percentage of the money that you paid to the vendors you want to recover as part of the additional profit margins that you want to make by selling your fashion products so that's number 3 understanding the profit margins and pricing with confidence so that you are recovering that profit margin that you want for yourself and number 4 you need to consider while pricing your products up front how much discount you want to give to your customers most people whom i mentor in order to build their profitable fashion brands they do not have any discount margin left in their pricing strategy and they are not able to compete with other business owners brand owners in the market because they are not able to give discount so when you uh, put up a, a price tag the mrp of your fashion products make sure that you are also putting in this component of discount so that when the right time comes you are able to offer say a 10 20 30 percent discount to your customers in the e-commerce world so that they they can make a purchase from you just thinking of pricing your products based on what you feel right is not going to make you money and at the end of the month at the end of the quarter at the end of the year you will realize that you have sold products but you have not made any money because of your wrong pricing strategy i hope this video was helpful and if you want to learn more business strategies in order to 
grow your fashion brand then definitely subscribe to the channel comment below how are you pricing your products so that i can help you answer whether your pricing strategy is right or wrong with that said this is harvi shah fashion business coach signing off and see you in the next video